I, I don't know, maybe you know that these are some icons. Uh, okay, here. Okay, here, uh, as you see, there's some words on the documents and you can add some pictures, you can change the title and uh, the different styles, you can use it. And also, as you see, this is W, uh, we, will, we will start to use Microsoft Words. Okay, today uh, we will talk about that. I will show to you some with the different features uh, on Word processor. As you see here, I didn't write MS Word. Like uh, MS Excel, uh, let's remember something from the previous week. MS Excel is spreadsheet software, you know? But the MS Word, Word is Word processor software on Microsoft Office. Okay, let's continue. This, today, uh, you will able to uh, learn how to work with text with shortcuts, okay? And these shortcuts are very important. I saw that on the uh, past questions, there are some simple uh, questions about that, okay? And the other one is, how can we format characters and paragraphs and how we can use page setup and printing, how we can format objects, and how to use tables, a little bit too much, but on the lesson you can see, uh, less than uh, 30 slides we have, and we will finish that on time, I hope. Okay, how we can use pictures and drawings. Okay, let's start with the introduction, and the first one is, Let's remember last uh, or previous learning before uh, I, we taught we have taught before this lesson in the first and second term and how can we create new document as you know here control N and after teaching something we will make some practices at the end of the topic okay you should be uh, patient here and to create new document when you uh, open your ms word software uh, if you click or if you press on the keyboard control n and you can see that the screen blank document uh, picture and how we can save it with the shortcut control plus s not plus plus is not using just i'm saying here on the regular words control s you are pressing first control hold down Hold up here and the control with S. And to save as document with different location, with different extension, with different name, you can use just F12, okay? And the other one is how we can open it with control O. You can remember here, new is N, open is O. And the other one is, as you see here, if you uh, press on the keyboard, uh, you can see uh, your, documents if you use before and the other one is how we can close document and how we can close a program these are different things without closing a program you can use a do closing document control f4 okay and if you want to exit program you can use alt f4 alt key and f4 f4 is not different and uh, this is the function key it's starting from the F1 to F12, okay? You just, you can uh, hold up Alt key on the keyboard and F4, okay? And to get help, F1, uh, this is sometimes it's showing offline. I don't know, maybe th there's a different uh, versions of the uh, MS Office. If you press F1, it, it will try to connect your internet and it, it, it will show your online results, but uh, generally it will show offline results. There is no any uh, connection uh, for the internet. You can take help like this, see? For example, on MS Word, you can click here after pressing F1 and you can search your words. Okay, and the other one is, that's very important. Let's remember, we are using MS Excel extension XLSX or XLS. But in the MS Word, we are using DOC, DOC doc, you know, documents. 
document doc. This is the old version, uh, like 2007 and 2003 versions. They are using the last like this. And after 2007 or 2003, uh, we are using the OCX now, 2016 and 2019 version. Versions are using the OCX generally. Okay, but we, you can save it also uh, the OC. Let's continue. Today we have six subtopics working with text. I mentioned on the uh, learning objectives, formatting characters and paragraphs, page setup and printing, formatting objects, tables and pictures and drawings. Okay. Let's start with working with text. If you want to select any text, you can use Control A. And if you click the Control A, you can select all text and pictures, whatever you have on your document, okay? Control A. If you want to select some things, you can click double or you can select with the mouse, okay? And the other one is, you know that this uh, very, very easy and you can use it copy and move with Control X. No, uh, be sure, you be sure that if you want to copy that, you can use Control C, and if you want to pass it, you can use Control V. But in here, Control X to cut. You know the cut is on the MS offices to move from some place to the other place. Place means inside of the document or the other the document. Okay, Control X to cut. You can move it, not copy. Yeah, and the other one is. How we can do it to cut, copy, and paste? As you see, when you select any words or paragraph and sentences, you can use the right click, or on the uh, keyboard, you can use the shortcuts, okay? From here, if you use the right click, you can select the cut, copy, and the paste, okay? Let's go. And undo and redo, Control Y and Control Z. You can go to uh, previous step with the Control Y, Sure, okay, redo, control Z. Now, is it true, you know, control Z, control Z means uh, undo, I think the control Y is redo. Maybe we can confuse it. Okay, and how we can do it without using the shortcut on the screen, left top of the screen, you know, left top of the screen, we have save icon and undo typing and what's that? redo or the different name on the versions this is redo typing okay and the other one is how we can find the words specifically you can use control f uh, or on the uh, home tab or i don't know home tab or inserting tab let's go home tab when we use that no need to memorize it when we use that you can find from the right side in home tab or insert tab let's see and from the find, you can click here and you can search your word. And what about the replace? Replace means if you use some words wrongly, you can change it one, not one by one, automatically. How, for example, you use that movie words, let's see here, movie words uh, instead of video, but you want to change it, this movie words, uh, maybe you have 100 times you use that, okay? You want to change this movie word instead of uh, uh, movie word to video words, okay? And you can go to Control H and you can find it and in, uh, replace instead of Control no instead of uh, movie words your video words, okay? The other one is formatting characters and paragraphs. How we can format it? Do you know uh, we have different formats? and different uh, objectives on the document. The first one is, is uh, here font. If you want to change font, font means characters, and you can use the font group inside of the home tab, and you can go to change the style of the word or text, let's say text, and you can change the size of text and bigger than and less than, smaller than like this. And if you want, you can change your uh, orders. For example, all of them is capital, all of them is uh, small text. And you can edit here bold, italic, and underlined, and subscription, and superscription. 
and the other different styles and the colors of the background of text or back, uh, text of the color. Okay, you can do it from the font formatting. <clears throat> and the other one is, uh, without touching any characters, you can change the paragraph format. Okay, here paragraph formatting, you can do it the alignment and any list to create a list, for example, uh, order list or number list, and the other things you can change it. And bullet to the number list also inside of the paragraph, uh, inside the paragraph uh, group, you can do it bulleted and numbered list from this place. As you know, we, we can use it uh, some uh, list of the uh, document. Okay, like this, this is numbering library, and when you click the number list here, it will show to you this site. Okay, borders and shading. As you know, guys, this is a very interesting way. This is also a bullet library. Borders and shading. Uh, if you want to make a different style, different visual uh, to use your Word document, uh, if you want to see when you print your document, colorful, with the background, with the, some borders, you can use it borders and shading. Okay, I'm going uh, a little bit faster because you know we have just 40 minutes and uh, 45 minutes, and also we need to make a practice a little bit. Yeah, the other one is page setup and printing. You know, uh, this is very important thing. <clears throat> if you uh, write your document regularly, uh, maybe it's not very good uh, showing to you. And you need to know that something with the layout tab. Uh, we are using page setup group. Where is it? As you see on the screen, this is uh, on the ribbon bar, layout tab, and the page setup group. If you want to change your Word document overview, you need to be know here some changes. For example, you should arrange it the size. It, generally, it's opening with the letter size and you can change it to A4 size because of that, for example, if you want to print on A4 paper, if it is selected letter type, maybe something is going down and the words are the changing and to the other uh, section, to the other page. And at the same time, for example, orientation, if you want to make a different style, for example, this is, let's say, this is the A4 papers from right side and left side, left side, if you want to make together, and this is the different orientation. As you see, this is horizontal and landscape like this. Horizontal and landscape, okay? And the other margin is the space of the uh, edge of the page from the uh, outside of the words, okay? On the paper, we will uh, do it. Okay, and margins, as you see here, and we can uh, arrange the space of the page uh, outside of the words and orientation as you see here paper size you can select from there and columns you can manage it here like magazine uh, two or three and more columns on the word documents especially it's good to create any magazine and the newspaper you can manage your document on the words okay and the other one is the others also we have, but not, not now. Uh, if it's possible, we will finish that first, this basic thing, uh, specific things, and the essential information. And to print your documents, you can use Control T, or you can go to File tab and click your print. <clears throat> okay, like this. When you click the file tab, it's opening here, the left side, you can click the print. If you have installed printer, if you don't have an installed printer, as I, as I said before on the publisher software, you cannot print out to uh, print out any paper, but you can save as PDF when you select from here, okay? And the other one is formatting objects. What we have under this uh, subtopic, uh, we can use insert tab and 
uh, inside of the insert tab equations and symbols. How? For example, you want to make a, um, you want to prepare some mathematical calculations, but not calculation, not uh, like Excel, just on the Word document you can show them. And like, for example, uh, create an exam to create any document with the equations of mathematical calculations, okay? Formulas, for example. And the other one is symbols, the different symbols like this, omega, and you can add the different symbols like uh, numbers, uh, for example, with the uh, symbol, not just uh, pressing on the keyboard one, you can add as a symbol also, like a picture, right? Okay, the other one is drop cap, letter, drop cap letters and date and time. This is under text group inside of the insert tab. This is also inside of the insert tab. And we can use the first uh, letter on the document. If you want, you can arrange for all paragraphs. Uh, this big and capital letter. We are saying that drop cap letters, like magazines and uh, newspapers, you can remember that. And date and time, how we can do it, uh, if you want, you can add any date and time or the page number from here, but page number is different segment and the text is uh, very important. It's changing automatically in the uh, header or footer, okay? Okay, the other one is page numbers. We said that the different section, uh, header and footer, and you can edit your page numbers. Uh, let's try after this uh, lesson. And the other one is cover page. Everybody, uh, it's very good feature for the uh, Office softwares. Uh, I don't know the other Excel or PowerPoint, we can, can we do it or not? And, but on the MS Word, after 2003 version, maybe 2003 also it's possible, you can uh, add cover page before first page. Like for example, uh, magazine cover and newspaper cover or the book cover, you can create it. And what about the tables? Uh, we have tables, you know, uh, not on the Excel, you can do it also on the PowerPoint and Publisher and a Word program and the different styles. How we can do it? Uh, on the insert top, there's an icon here. You can click it. And to create any table, let's see that here. On the MS Word, when you see the tabs, file, home and insert, when you click the insert top, you can go to table icon like this. And you can select from here, if you have uh, like uh, eight rows and as I remember here, 10 columns. This is eight rows and 10 columns. Columns are there and rows are there. And if you need more columns and, and rows uh, on the screen here, you can click the insert top. But for example, if you have, you need to use just three columns and the four, oh, sorry, just three rows, the rows and the four columns, you can select from here as you see. Okay, and how we can change the table styles like this. Normally, when you create a table on the screen here, on the picture, you can create like this very simply. Just borders, black uh, color borders and the white background on the cells. But if you want to change the table styles, you need to know how we can do it. It's very easy. After creating the table, you can go to table top, but there is no showing here. Okay, uh, resizing and moving tables. If you want, you can resize it. When you uh, point on the uh, borders, for example, for the rows, you can click and take the down and up. And for the columns from the right side to left side, you can point on and point on, on, on the edge and of, after that you can uh, resize it, okay? And what about the table tools? Uh, when you, I said that when you uh, create a table, you can see the table tools, design and layout. In, under the layout tab, 
uh, you can change the size of the rows and columns or automatically you can change it from here. Okay, we have only one video now. Let's uh, watch it. Sorry, wait, uh, I want to share the computer sounds. Okay. Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Using regular text to compose your documents is fine in most cases, but for something that requires more organization, you might want to try a table. This will let you enter your text in columns and rows instead of lines or paragraphs. To create a new table, just go to Insert, Table, then mouse over the grid to select the number of cells you want. My table is going to be pretty big, six columns by six rows. Now click and the table appears in your document where you can start entering your information. If you already have some of your information listed, don't worry, you don't have to start from scratch. Take this version for example. The schedule is kind of hard to read in its current format, but we can easily convert it to a table in just a couple steps. Start by selecting your text. Next. Then go to the Insert tab and click Table. Now click Convert Text to Table and choose one of the options here for separating your text. This is how Word knows what to put in each column. My text is separated by tabs in this example, but paragraphs, commas, and other symbols will also work. When you're ready, click OK and the text will appear in a table. To enter information, just click the cell you want. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to navigate. To insert a column or row, hover outside the table over one of the cell dividers. Notice the plus sign that appears? All you have to do is click, and Word will add a column or row in that location. Deleting columns and rows is just as easy. First, select a cell in the range you want to delete. Then right-click and choose Delete Cells from the menu. In this example, I'm going to select Delete Entire Row, then click OK. So this is looking pretty good. I think I'm ready to add some formatting to make the table easier to read and also give it some color. For that, you'll find everything you need on the Design tab or the Layout tab, which appear anytime you have your cursor in your table. Under Design, you'll find a wide range of table styles to choose from, which you can mouse over for a preview. For the full list, click the drop-down arrow in the corner. How about this one? Once you've chosen a style, you can customize the way it's laid out using the Table Style options here. For example, you can decide whether or not to use special formatting on the first column or the header row. These will all have a different effect depending on the table style you've chosen, so you might need to experiment to get the look you want. You may have noticed that this table has a border between most of the cells. To add or change the border, just select the cells you want to modify, then look to the Borders group. Here you can select a line style, line weight, and also a color for your border. When you're ready, click the drop down arrow under the borders command, then choose where you want the border to go. I want mine around the outside of these two cells. You can make further modifications to things like the size and layout of your table by going to the Layout tab. The first thing I'd like to do here is make the table a little bigger overall. I'll start by placing my cursor in the bottom row and then dragging the border to the size I want. When you're ready, click the Distribute Rows command and the rows will readjust so they're all the same size again. Next, I'm going to select the entire table and then change the text alignment using the options in the alignment group. I think centered looks the best. 
Finally, I'd like to combine these two cells into one, also known as merging. This option is useful if your table has data that spans several different columns or rows. Just make sure your cells are selected, then click the Merge Cells command on the Layout tab. The Layout tab gives you many ways to customize your table, so it works for you and the information you want to display. There are still lots of other options to explore, so make sure you give them a try on your own. Okay, as you see, that was very delicious information. And very uh, useful video, and you can try it at home. There are many things with the MS Word, MS Excel, and PowerPoint, and Publisher, and MS Access. And just you should sit and uh, learn and try it, okay? And pictures and drawings, everybody, that's very easy. Uh, there are different types uh, to add and a picture. For example, clip arts. The different day in 2016, uh, there's a different way. Uh, clip arts are online. And the other pictures also you can find online, but the, you can edit your pictures offline. For example, from any local disk, you can copy or you can drag and drop, you can insert it, but the clip arts are different. You should go to find online. Okay, and the other one is, for example, if you go to insert and click the online pictures, and default it's showing the Bing search bar, and inside of the MS Word, not going to Chrome or the internet browsers. Uh, you can write anything here. You can type it, flowers, for example. And after that, it will show to you this type. It's asking to you which size, which type, and which color you want. And also you can click the clip art and you can find your uh, basic pictures to use on documents. And in certain pictures are different. Any pictures you can find offline and online. Any pictures you can find it. How? From the insert tab, as you see here, these are the online pictures. You can find it, you can use it, the pictures icon inside of the illustrations, okay? And picture adjustments, that's a very easy way. You can go to uh, change the color, brightness, and corrections, and some effects also you can do it. Even you don't know any uh, professional softwares to edit your pictures. You can use MS Word to remove background. And also PowerPoint, you can do it inside of that. Remove background, but not professional. You should do something, some points. You, you need to click to keep or to remove any area. Okay, the other one is picture brightness and contrast. We are, we are using the corrections and colors and change color and artistic effects also inside of that area. Okay, we have activity now. Please look at the screen and there are some uh, here pictures. One, two, three, four, five. Now I will start to select randomly students. I will ask and after then uh, the first and left side it will uh, show to us the text. What is the group of these pictures, okay? Or what is the name of this picture? Are you ready? We are starting now. I need to go to participants. Maybe you are starting to raise your hands. I will check it. Okay, let's continue here. Now, the first one is, who wants to say the table is, which one? Okay, I'm setting uh, randomly here. Okay, from the Kaduna, from Kaduna boys, Mohammed, Nazif, Abu Bakr. Are you ready? Let me try to unmute you. Okay, I, I, I'm trying, but I don't know, Mohammed, you are not around. Okay, let's start to the other friends. Um, okay, Yobek girls, Rukaya Mohammed Kanar. 
I'm trying to unmute. Okay, do you want to say something? What, which one is the table from the right side? A, B, or C, D, E? Okay, Rukaya from the Yobe Girls. Yes. Uh, table is which picture? Can you say to us A, B, C, D, or E? You couldn't get it. Let's let me say again. I said that from the left side table. And which one is table from these pictures? Um, uh, D. D. Thank you very much. Very nice. Did that was a table. Thank you. Let's continue. The other uh, students. Okay. Um, I'm looking here from 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 uh, Ogun Boys. Ogun Boys. The name is. Uh, sorry if I am saying wrong. Gideon Ibrahim. Ogin boys, Gideon, Ibrahim. Okay, we are waiting you. Ibrahim, what is the uh, page setup group? Which one is page setup group? From Ogin boys, Gideon, Ibrahim, we are waiting you. Which one is page setup group? I think the internet connection we don't know uh, i'm just changing here okay open oh, reset kaduna boys i will try again mr hisham jimo from kaduna boys hisham jimo please uh, could you tell us which one is page setup? A, B, or E? Hisham? Sir? Yes, please. We are waiting you. Which one is page setup? Which picture? A, B, C, D, or E? D is table. We said that. Yes. Well, the page setup is C. Page setup is C. Are you sure? Do you want to think again? Okay, page setup is A. A, you said A, right? Yes, sir. I'm, I'm holding my mouse now. <laughs> I think you confused that. The page setup is. Let's see after your answer. Thank you very much. That's good. Uh, A or C, we will see that after then. Thank you. And the other one is, who wants to say? Which one is symbol group? Okay, I'm looking here from ladies. Um, okay, let's see. We selected from, yeah, Kano Girls. Let's see. Amal Ibrahim from Kano Girls. Okay, from Kano Girls. Sir? Yes, please. Um, sir, the answer is E. E. Thank you very much. That was very easy. If I remove that the symbol, maybe you will think about that. Thank you very much. That's good answer. Okay, let's go to the other question. Which one is font group? I'm looking now the other person from uh, gentlemen, okay, let's see NTIC Kuwait Abuja. His name is Mohammed Musa. Okay, Kuwait Abuja. <clears throat> Sometimes it's not working very well. Okay, I'm doing unmute. Sorry, uh, let me try again. I'm trying, but it's not doing. Koet Abuja Mohammed Musa. Uh, could you try it, please? Mohammed Musa, I couldn't uh, unmute. 
NTIC, Koet, Abuja, Mohamed, Musa. Okay, it's it's okay now. Yes, Mohamed, Musa. Can you hear us? We can't hear you now. Okay, which one is font group? Okay, maybe they... Ooh, the sound is not good. I know that maybe uh, you know this answer. Let's try the other person. Thank you very much. And let's go to different student. For example, Ogun. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry for waiting. Yes, here. number four B. Four B. Number okay. four B. B. You said B. Okay. Thank you very much. That's good. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's. Uh, now we are going to next question. The paragraph group. Which one is paragraph group? Let's go to. Uh, for example, Abuja boys, favor. Okay, favor Akuchie. If I'm spelling wrong, sorry. Uh, Mr. Ashi. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Which one is paragraph group? Paragraph book group. Uh, option A. Option A. Are you yes. sure? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you very much. Very nice. Thank you very much. Favor, see you later. Okay, guys, now let's see the answers. Table is 1D and the page setup group is C. Symbol group is E. Font group is B. As you see, there are some font features. And the paragraph group is A. Thank you very much. You know that, I think. Okay, let's go to next slide. Oh, there are some past questions from 2019 and 2018, I think, let's see. The area where words are typed into MS Word is known as, let's see that, I will uh, give to chance to find this is word area or text area or function area or blank area. Let's go to participants and I will select someone. Um, okay, and Kaduna boys, there are the same students, I think. Maybe we should find Mr. Jeffrey from Ogun. Okay, Mr. Jeffrey, could you say to us? Mr. Jeffrey, my dear students. Are you here? From Ogun State, Mr. Jeffrey, could you say to us? Okay, maybe there's a problem. Let's go to the next person. Okay, uh, Kaduna girls, we gave Abja girls, let's say Kalisa Okunola. Okunola, Abuja girls. Could you answer it? Text area. Text area B. Text area, are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's see the answer. What's that? Oh, this answer is blank area. Do you remember that the first day? Yeah, we read the, yeah, we read the, read the word documents. Uh, it's showing blank documents, right? Blank area. And the other one is let's continue to from 2019, the second question, the same year. There are two questions from the MS Word. And what about the MS Word Control B? is shortcut key used for okay let's see um i don't know there are many students uh, i need to i need to aminullah okay from 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 there are many students the same place top of the screen okay abuja <clears throat> poet Abdul Fatai Abobajo, Ab Abobajo, sorry. Okay, from Abuja Kuwait, Abdul Fatai, 
Could you answer the question? This is past or underline or redo or bold. From Abu Jaqoet, Abdul Fatai, if it is not wrong to spell. Could you say to us? Okay, I think there's a problem. Let's go. Uh, what about all of them? Abuja, Abuja, Abuja. I want to see the different place. Where is Kaduna, Kuwait, and okay, NTIC Kaduna, Kuwait, Favor Richmond. Okay, Mr. or Mrs. I don't know uh, if I'm wrong. Sorry, I lost the name. Okay, let me try. The different students. <clears throat> Kaduna. Kaduna Boys. Okay. From Kaduna Boys, Abdul Malik, Abdul Samet. Abdul Malik, Abdul Samet. Okay, can you hear us? Okay, let me try again. From Kaduna Boys, Abdul Malik, Abdul Samet. I'm trying to unmute you. Maybe there's a problem with the system. Okay, let, let me do it instead of uh, some answers. The answer is bold. As you remember, here's the control B is answer bold okay we are using bold if it is i italic if it is uh, u underline and if it is v v means past and if it is y redo okay if it is y redo okay guys uh, as a result as a summary word is a word processor software as you know uh, you can create, save, open, close, and get help. And from the home tab, we can use to format characters and paragraphs. In the layout tab, we can use setup page. And with the tables and pictures, if you want to make difference, you can use visual your documents. Okay, as you know, we have assignments. You are going to uh, Google Classroom. You can do it there. Just we have a few seconds, but I want to show to you some things on the MS Word. We have classwork, as you see. Uh, if it is possible, you can do it yourself. These Word documents. We have table. We have head, head, header here and one picture. And you can write with some spaces with the text, okay? And there is here also one shape, line shape. Let's continue uh, here, if I can do it. Like, right click. Okay, this is our word. The version is different. If you, go to, if you uh, open your MS Word, you can go to home and the blank document. And after clicking that, uh, it will show to you like this. Let me uh, show tabs here. Show tabs and ribbon. Okay, normally, as you know here, uh, there is tabs. There are some tabs here and the ribbon bar. We are saying ribbon bar. And why I said from the layout tab, if you go before starting your document, you can you need to select here the, from the size, and this is selected now A4. The default it, it should be letter. Okay. And what about the margins from here? You can select the moderate and narrow. If you need more space, uh, for example, you can change from the custom margins, okay? Now, let's use it. For example, I want to uh, write some things here. Dear students, please don't uh, forget to continue uh, learning. 
<clears throat> okay. After that, I want to add a picture here. Uh, you can use the from here insert up and the pictures. Let's show it. This is very easy way. Online pictures. If you have internet connection, you can click the online. And the, I want to show here the picture and the clip art. How we can do it? See, this is the uh, Bing search engine. I want to go, for example, cars. Let's go to car. Uh, please, if I forget to unmute, you can you turn off it, please? Okay, thank you. From here, anything you can find it. Let's select this and insert. Don't forget, it will add from internet. It should be downloaded. Okay. And after adding that, <clears throat> you can change the size like this. And now I want to add a picture like. Uh, Clip art. I'm going to online pictures again, and you are going to here again. For example, cars. But we will select from the tools which type you want. After clicking this filter, you can go to clip art. Okay. After clicking that, see not uh, original pictures. Maybe you can see. Uh, handmade and design pictures okay like this you can edit that's very easy way small it everywhere you can use it how I can do it the table let me show to you after this picture we are going to insert as you know from the table and this uh, rows and columns you can go to layout and no sorry table design and you can select some different things, as you see. And the, the next feature about that, I'm showing just some of them. You can go to uh, add picture we showed that, header and folders. As you see here, guys, from the view, you can add the rulers inside of this space. As you see here, this is the header. You can click double on there. And you can add, a, for example, date and time, like this, okay? And for example, with the top, I'm pressing the top, and you can add page number, for example, here. Top of page, it will show differently like this. As you see, that's very easy, and close it. For example, if I add page numbers, you can go to uh, next page, it will show to you from here the next number automatically. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Uh, we are over the lesson, just five minutes, and we can finish that. I hope uh, you can spend very enjoyable times. Uh, greet your families. Uh, let's uh, do it next lesson. The other things. Thank you guys. See you later.